together today. Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Tuesday, May the 28th, 2024, and this is my Floss Tube episode 121. I would like to say hello and welcome to any and all new subscribers. Thank you for the opportunity to enable you with a project or two, and to my returning friends, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. Um, I have had a busy week. Um, my oldest son um, came over and helped me um, on this past Saturday for like five hours. We worked on getting my yard uh, back into some type of order. Um, if I, I didn't get his permission to post his picture. Um, so I, I did take pictures of the yard before and after. So if I um, have pictures with them in that don't include him, then I'll um, put them in. Um, for the past couple of years, I've let my yard go. I'm an avid, I was an avid gardener um, and I let my yard go uh, for the past couple of years. So there's a lot of uh, weeding and grass mowing and limb trimming and it was a um, nice day to do that um, this weekend and it was good to have him around. I am learning that I just need to ask for help rather than trying to take it all on on my own and so it was really nice to have him here uh, helping me get my yard back into some type of order it was funny one of my neighbors uh, stopped by he doesn't live in the neighborhood anymore but he was visiting his mom and he was like I was wondering if you were doing okay because I've never seen your yard look like it has been looking and so I thought I would check on you and make sure that you were doing okay so I told him that um, I'm getting back into the swing of things and getting the yard back together again um, so it was uh, good to have that outdoor time um, and to spend that quality time with my son. He, my oldest son was here, so it was good. But I And I did get in some stitching. I um, have to share a new start, some whips, and a finish for this time. Um, and so we're going to just jump right in. Um, this will probably be another shorter video as I don't have a whole lot to share, but I'm gonna share what I have. So we're gonna start with my new start. As you know, I am hosting the uh, Mental Health Care Sal for the month of May. And I um, have started a new project or worked on a mental health project every Wednesday in May. Um, I've started a project, I've started one, one, two, three, four now, four projects. And I have one more to go because there's five Wednesdays. And so I decided to do five, um, four new starts and a whip that I have um, in my, for this month. Um, and it is an endeavor to help open up the communication for mental health um awareness and um just draw more attention to it that we need to have open conversations about mental health and how to care for persons that are suffering so what i started this past wednesday was it's called current mood mood and And this is a pattern by, or it is in just the Just Cross Stitch Magazine um, Spring Edition 2024. It was designed by Stitchy Fish Designs. And um, the original, this pattern, this the way it's stitched, the model is stitched, she used Valdani. 
So there are some um, variegation in the um, flosses. And so when I looked at that, what I saw was Purple Rain, because it's called Current Mood, and um, Purple Rain is, you know, one of my favorite songs. So what I am doing is I am stitching mine on a 28 count Periwinkle by Color and Cotton, and each um, rainfall is a different shade of purple thread. And I can, um, I haven't finished, of course, I haven't finished it yet, but I, um, have been writing down the num the names of the floss that I've been using. And so I'll be able to provide you with that if you to want those, that information. Otherwise, really all it is, is I am just going through choosing a purple floss and putting it in. One of the um, floss names is Prince Charming because it has the name Prince in it. Um, there's also um, Forbidden Fiber Co. has their version of Purple Rain, which is number two. So number one is Prince Charming. Number two is Purple Rain by Forbidden Fiber Co. Let me get the card out. Number three is Amethyst by Cottage Garden Threads. Number four is Purple Haze by Weeks Dye Works. Number five is a, it's not named, but it's a highly dark, dark purple by Live and Die LA. And then the um, sixth one, which is this one here, is Weeks Dye Works Peoria Purple. So I will actually have another Purple Rain as uh, Weeks Dye Works has a Purple Rain also. Um, and there are... One, two, three, four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There are 19 different sections that come down. Um, around the umbrella and on top of the umbrella and so I'll have 19 different purple flosses that I'll be using in it so that is where I'm at on it and I put in 476 stitches over two days in this project so I started it on Wednesday and I stitched on it Wednesday and Thursday and I'm actually almost down to the bottom. Um, this, like I have probably six more stitches to go on that one. And then, you know, the other ones um, meet down at the bottom. So that is where I am on that. I am um, enjoying it. I am. Um, have been watching my friend Debbie stitch this stitch on this project. Um, and so I knew that I was gonna do it. And then when I saw it, I was just like, okay, I'm see you bathing in the purple rain, laughing in the purple rain, all of those things. And so current mood is what is going on under the purple rain. And so that's why I chose it to do it that way. So that was um, current mood I will um, be working on these projects they will more than likely um, Albert is trying to get me to get up and give him something to eat they will more than likely be in my year of whips next year um, or I'll be working on them for next May's not that they can't be worked on now. I'll probably continue working on them. Um, everything that I chose for mental health care month, um, I really love. Um, and you will see the last project um, when I go through my plans.
I'm finding that it's just better for me to pause the video and go ahead on and feed him. Otherwise, you'll hear like the bowl scraping across the floor because he will move the bowl because he thinks that I don't hear him, see him wanting to eat. But, you know, he only been laying around sleeping all day long and now wants to eat. So, anyway... Um, the next project that I worked on, I also worked on, is a mental health care piece. And it was also my whip go. But I finished it for my whip go. Um, also, and I participated in Mother May We, which was a pop up. Um, event for the magazine monthly cross stitch challenge group that I'm in um, however I fell asleep and did not wake up to post my um, pictures so but it was a fun event and I was glad that I participated in it so for um, with words which was day number four I used beautiful things Yeah, and I gotta go back. I used Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches. And here is a picture of what that looks like. I will also be taking this to StitchCon with me. I am working on this uh, with my friend Carolyn Zook. And so we will be working on it together for a little while at StitchCon. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So I added this branch and the white stitches. Well, I'm glad it shows up better on camera than it does in um, real life. I added these white stitches and this branch here, and that was 103 stitches. Um, for the pop-up event, you had to stitch either one hour or 100 stitches, so I met the goal for that. As you can see, I actually prepped this piece to take with me to StitchCon, um, so I'll have some good fill-in stitching. Um, I also want to drop down and maybe put in the bird, start the bird's head right in here. Um, but I did, I do have some good uh, spots for fill-in stitching. So that is where I am on Beautiful Things. I am stitching this on an 18 count Mystic Fabric Diversity. And I am using a called for overdyed and DMC flosses for it. Okay. The next piece I worked on was a piece. It said, um, Initially, I was going to use this piece for stitch on a piece with a border, which was day number three of Mother May I. But I ended up using something else with a border that would have counted for a border if I'd have been able to put the stuff in. So what I did stitch on was I Am Brave by Emily Call. And that is where that is right now. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where it is now. So, seems like I already showed this. I might have already showed it. I don't know. I might have showed it in my last one because I have. I don't remember doing anything other than this right here. So I probably did show it in my last video, but there it is. 
for the border. Yeah, I think I did. Oh well, you'll see it again. It's a beautiful piece. I love it. Okay. So, beautiful things. And then the next piece that I stitched on, which I used for day number five, stitch on a piece with flowers. So I was already stitching on flea market flowers. So I pulled that back out again. And here's what that model looks like. This is not what mine will look like. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where it is now. I added a few more petals. I think I added three petals here. Let me pull out my working copy. Yes, I added these three petals right here, which was um, 185 stitches for that. I am stitching this on a 25 count potato Lugana um, and I'm stitching it one over one with a color conversion that uh, my friend Liz of the Wandering Stitcher um, provided for me. She um, was stitching this um, and I loved the color way that she chose. And so I changed mine to match hers also. So that was Flea Market Flowers. And that was Stitch on a Piece with Flowers for the Magazine Monthly Pop-Up Challenge. Because I had already met, I've already met, um most all of my goals but I just kept stitching on the pieces over again so that I can get some more stitches in on them the next piece I worked on was um, so I normally work on my temperature turtles on Sunday however this past Sunday I wasn't feeling temperature turtles and I, I was like let me put this down so that I can not be not make any mistakes well that is what this looks like and it is by stitching mommy and she is stitching mommy on um etsy youtube and instagram and she has great if you are looking for i know we're in the middle of the year now but she has great um temperature charts So, here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. Here's where the whole piece is so far. And I worked on this whole, all of, um, all of the inside stitches and I tried to bring this around and somewhere I have made a mistake so I have to go back and find where I made the mistake at because it doesn't as you can see it doesn't meet up and I don't know where I would have gone wrong but I put in 207 stitches on this yesterday no not yesterday well yesterday yes Monday So this is the May turtle, and you can see we had some really hot days. It was 88, not 89, 90 degrees. And it, well, it ranged from 87 to 89 degrees. Those days that that the that uh, brighter red is in there. 
So um, I'll probably like try to find my air while this is uploading so that I can keep moving on with it um, because you know it's about to be June and I don't have the June I don't have the May finish so I but I want to start on the June but so that is temperature turtles I'm stitching that on a pardon me 32 count whimsical by be stitch me and I am using a sulky conversion that I came up with. The next piece that I stitched on, um, so there are a lot of people that are doing Mirror May and Manning May. And well, I decided that um, I would like to jump in on the Manning May, even though it's the end of May. <laughs> so I pulled out my Starlight on Water by Carolyn Manning. I purchased this at Color and Cotton last summer. It's almost been a year since I've been there. And we did a Color and Cotton thread conversion from DMC. Here's a picture of where it was when I last worked on it and showed you. And here is where it is now so I worked on this motif right here and I started it I put in 295 stitches and what I've decided is that I'm just gonna keep coming down the side and then I'll go across so each you know each I'll just work each row across, across and then down. So I'll do, when I finish all the motifs here, then I'll come over and do this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. I am stitching this on a 32 count limited edition fabric. It's, it's a gray with a little bit of blue undertones in it the camera is or the light is blowing it out but it's it's a gray fabric i use i like to use gray as neutral and that is where i am with that here are the complete floss colors so they range in from deep dark purple to dark navy blue teal to light purple and lighter blues and they're all we uh converted it miss susan converted it from dmc to color and cotton while we were at color and cotton so it was good to pull that out and get some uh good work in on it next year i'm going to um, encompass more carolyn manning i have another carolyn manning um in may along with my mental health care pieces so that i'll have um a a, a, a real big mix-up or my not mix-up a combination of projects for both Manning May and Mental Health May. So that was my, those were my whips for the week. And then I have a finish. So for two of the um, prompts in the Mother May We, one was closest stitch on something that's closest to a finish and the other was stitch stitch on a project with a border so with the two of those initially initially i stitched on something else with the border but then when i saw this project i was like oh my goodness i'm stitching on this for a border and if you recall Here's what the model looks like. And I have it finished and I, it's wrinkled, so. 
but there is where my finish is so i was able to get it finished i needed to stitch on so what i did was i stitched on this border first then i came back and um it was called for closest to a finish and so i put in this border next i put in the buds inside the strawberry it took 124 stitches which i believe was just this bottom border i think i might have had the strawberry already completed but i put in this first which was 256 i put in 256 stitches no either way it went i finished it and I finished it on Tuesday. So that was day number three, which was stitch on something with a border. Day number one was stitch on something closest to a finish. So I, I did number one on Sunday and you would have saw that last, you saw this last Tuesday when I filmed my Floss Tube 120 that night. I pulled it out again and stitched on it and finished it on Tuesday of last week. I used the DMC alternative to the classic color works on this chart. And so now I can um, fully finish it. I'm gonna look and see if I can not try to find some. This is uh, Jobelin fabric, and I don't have any more of it. I'm gonna have to look and see if I can find some more so that I can stitch um, the rest of them on the Jobelin. Half of them are stitched on uh, Jobelin, half of them are stitched on Ada. Um, so I need to, but I don't even have the fabric color anymore, so I'm gonna have to get the fabric color so that I can um, start the next one, which these would make very good mental health um, care product. My chair then went down. These would make um, great mental health care charts also. So the next one is never give up, make it happen. So, sooner, one day, I'll start the next uh, chart in the series. So, that is where I am with that. I, I stitched 1,324 stitches this past week. Um, that does not include what I stitched on Sunday or Monday. And I haven't stitched at all today because I worked. <laughs> but when the video is uploading, I'll uh, pull something out and put some stitches in. So that was my finish. And now for my investments, and I do not have a lot. I actually only have Stitchy Kindness. I met a wonderful friend at um, Stitch North, Janine. So, um, quite a few of you have asked me, um, where did I get this bag? It was a gift from a friend. Um, it is, um, it's a canvas bag and she, you know, cricket it. She cricket, she cricket cut out this. So you can, if you, you know, if you know how to work a cricket, I do not. Um, but she made this for me and. So it's not a bag that can be purchased. Although, thank you so very much for all of you that like it and have asked them where to purchase one at. Um, so 
she we have we were talking at Stitch North and um I was telling her about you know wanting some 20 count Ada. She's an Ada stitcher, loves it. I love Ada too. Like I stitch on anything. Now, you know, 14 to 46 like in all things in between. Um so she said to me, "Oh, I'll send you some she lives around the corner from color and cotton i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh i couldn't believe it so she sent me this wonderful note this beautiful card and in the card she was telling me that um And I just couldn't believe it. She went to Color and Cotton and was telling Angela, who's the owner, about me. Angela remembered me from being there a year ago. And long story short, she died me two pieces of purple 20 count Ada to have my friend send to me. So here's one piece and the color is really being blown out. Oh, that's pretty good right there. So these will be nice little ornament pieces and um, small saying pieces. I might even look to see about um, putting one of the smalls of the, um, cause it doesn't have to be on, it could be on whatever color I want it to be on. And these are, um, no, you know, no name, no color name or anything. They're actually called a, a fabric grab bag, 20 count, and it's, uh, three you know you get three pieces but I got four so then there's a light color one and then this is a beautiful midnighty blue one And then she also sent me some floss. She sent grape and African violet. And rick rack, a half inch rick rack, three yards of grape. So that'll be really nice when I do a pillow finish or whatever kind of finish I do with the with the purple. It'll be so pretty because it's super dark. I know it's reflecting with the Ugh, I can't get it open, but um I know it's it's beautiful, so there we go. It is so pretty. Um, and I didn't realize that they were making Rick Rack. Um, so I'm going to have to check out check out their Rick Rack and see what um see what all colors that she has i i have not bought trims and things like that and um, i was talking with my friends i have a stitch group um that i'm in and um, and i was talking with them and we, we all are in the same boat we have all these projects that we have finished that are just sitting in boxes um now my box is not under the bed because I, I wouldn't do that because of Albert with all his hair, fur flying everywhere. But I have it in a um, in a tote container. Um, 
and maybe one day uh, when I, you know, I'll do a finishing, a finished parade where I can show you all of the pieces that I have finished over the last couple of years. That is my only Stitchy Kindness um, as I am saving up my money for StitchCon, which is in um, a little over a week and a half away. And then I'll be going from StitchCon, then three weeks later I'll be going to Stitch New Jersey. So I am um, saving up my money for my retreats. So not a lot of Stitchy um, investments going on right now. But just wait, <laughs> it's coming. Okay, so now we have moved to the plans portion of the video, and I would like to share my plans with you. Tomorrow, I will be starting for the last Wednesday of May. I will be starting Silver Creek Samplers Wings of Change. This was gifted to me by my friend Suki. Suki. And the saying is um, very meaningful to me. The butterfly is proof that you in darkness can be transformed to. Is proof that you in darkness can be transformed to. Um, so I'll be starting this tomorrow. And I will be stitching it on a 28 count over one on thin ice by live and die LA so I'll be stitching it uh, over one so it'll be small But if you've been around for a while, you know that I like over one stitching um, 28 count. It's the smallest that I will go. I, I, I like 25 count better. If I could have found a 25 count in the blue that was a big enough piece, I would have, I would have, I would have done it on 25 count. Um, I think the coverage is not as is um, on 25 count. I think the coverage is just smoother. Um, so, but I'll be working on the uh, 28 count and I'll be starting that tomorrow. And now I have a request from you, my viewers and subscribers. I put on my whip code, so the whip code numbers were called by Jesse Marie of Jesse Marie Does Stuff here on Boss Tube and on Instagram. And the number two was called, and the number two was Miss Dina, half stitch, cross stitches choice. And she chose one dozen Quakers, so I will be working on one dozen Quakers for the month of June, getting in 700 stitches. And the other number that was called was number 25, and that was subscriber's choice. And so I have three choices that I need you to vote on, and I will tally the votes. Um, and by my next floss tube, let you know what was chosen for the um, for your WIPCO call. So the first WIPCO call, or the first choice is... The River by Modern Folk Embroidery. And if you recall, I am stitching only this middle flower urn part. And here is what that looks like right now. So if you would like for me to stitch on the river, use the number one in your comment. 
This is being stitched on a 14 count Evil Queen by Be Stitch Me. And I'm using DMC Blanc for the uh, thread color. So that is choice number one. Choice number two. is Data Portraits in Paris. This is on um, all of these projects that I'm showing you got are cho were chosen due to them being on my Year of Whips. So these are also all three are Year of Whips projects. This is Data Portraits in Paris by Shaded Stitchery. And here is where I am on this project. I am stitching this on 28 count um, spell book by Color and Cotton. And that is where I am on that. So if you would like for me to stitch on Data Portraits in Paris, 1900, please um, add the number two to your comment. And the third choice is Home of a Needle Worker, which I will be working on this. Um, I am taking this with me to StitchCon. Carolyn Zook and I started this um, together, and so we're going to stitch on it at StitchCon. But if you would like for me to stitch on it for Whipgo, Please use the number three in your comment. And here is where I am on that. This is being stitched on a 28 count vanilla cream by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. And so I have this half, and then there's another border, border, and then the house on the other side. But this is also on my year of whips. All three of these projects are on my year of whips. And so I would, I would really want to get some good work in on them. So again, if you want me to stitch on the river or whip go this in June, number one for the river, Data Portraits in Paris is number two, and Home of a Needleworker is number three. Please add those numbers, one, you know, just vote for one um, to your comment, and then I will tally it up and that is what I will stitch on for the month of June. I have a couple of uh, subscriber WIPCO numbers so this is the first time it's been called however I think I have like two more um, in on my board for WIPCO for subscribers to make the choice so it'll be interesting to see what is chosen. Um, I still need to add um, 114 stitches to Purple Rain for my 700 stitches. So I'll be getting that in before the end of the week. Um, because Saturday, believe it or not, I can't even believe it, is the 1st of June. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy how fast time is flying. Um, so, and then I have also... Um, 
So I didn't really pull them out, but I just showed. Um, I'll be taking with me to StitchCon, which I should have another video up before I leave to go to StitchCon. Um, I'll be taking Beautiful Things with me, Home of a Needleworker. I think I might take Purple Rain with me because his birthday is on the 7th and I will be at StitchCon on the 7th. Um, and right now, those are the three big ones that I have, or the three that I know for like 99.9% .9 that I'll be taking with me. Um, I would like to take a, a smaller project also, so I might take I Am Brave or I Am Enough, um, or maybe my uh, Beach Please with the... Uh, perforated paper is what I'm trying to say. I'm like, what are, what are you trying to say? Um, so that, um, those are what my plans are tentatively. I have, uh, started looking at my magazine monthly, uh, cross stitch challenge, the challenge, the, um, theme is to the parade and the acrostic is float. And so I am trying to uh, come up with my, with my projects for both of those. So um, I'm still in the planning stages of what I'm gonna do for next month. Um, but you know, float is a pretty, uh, you know, the word is really small. So I need to think about um, what, how many stitches I'm going to put in for each project also, since it's a shorter, um, acrostic, um, or if I want to, you know, go through, do the acrostics and then pull out some of my year of whip projects and put some extra work in on them. I'll also be, um, working on a tour de France in July, which will be all purple rain. So um, I usually get 1,300 stitches in um, the month of July on Purple Rain. So um, on top of, you know, I got the 700 this month, then I'll get another 1,300 next month or in July. So Purple Rain is really coming along. I, I'm going to start doing the, uh, I can't even think. Uh, the single stitches um, so that I can, you know, start filling in all those little holes that are all over the place. I am, with this being the last, coming up on the last Wednesday of the month, I thank you all that have participated in um, hashtag mental health care style this year. Um, I had, uh, I am glad that the expectation that I set for myself that I did meet those goals. Um, um, it was a difficult past week with the uh, attempted suicide of a friend of a friend and then a, the suicide. Um, I am one that takes on other people's issues, problems, and so it was very, it took me a couple of days to get myself together after um, after last week's video, I, I just, um, which, which is why I ended up stitching two days on current mood because I, I just needed something where I didn't have to think about it because I, um, can't even imagine what the one family, um, is going, was, is going through, um, but I've been in that place. And so I, um, can only imagine, um, it was very difficult for me and I'm, that's where I'm going to leave it at. I, but I wanted to thank everyone that has participated, that has added to the hashtag. Um, I have been trying to check the hashtag, um, but it doesn't seem, 
it doesn't appear that like all the things that I have seen people stitching on are loading into the hashtag. So I think next year what I'm going to do is have people tag me on their uh, mental health care piece um, so that I can see and know how many people are actually stitching along um, with me in this endeavor. I know there are a lot of you that um, have talked about it on your own floss tubes or you know you've posted to Facebook groups about it and I really 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 do appreciate your support um, in this endeavor it is so important that we get the stigma away from talking about our mental issues um, just for our own peace of mind in our families and our community we need to get the stigma away from talking about uh, mental health care it, it is it is a devastating um, occurrence in a family um, for multitude of reasons and so um, I just hope that uh, everybody starts having the conversation with within their own family friends uh, groups it, it really does help um, and give somebody eight minutes if you possibly can. With that, I would like to thank you again, and I will see you all next week. Have a good week, everyone. Good night.